Good evening. Um, good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm Mirta Dergenzio, a curator from Rome, independent curator, and I represent our Basel uh, in Italy as well. And uh, I'm very proud because uh, uh, we are able to close this uh, conversation in Basel this year. And um, we are presenting uh, uh, today a project that is uh, uh, a book called Leon d'Oro. And uh, uh, this book was the result of a, a long uh, collaboration, collaborative work with the artist uh, Douglas Gordon, the famous uh, uh, artist from Scotland, and Jonathan Monk from uh, England. So they are less nervous than us tonight because, uh, as everyone knows, uh, there is uh, Italy, New Zealand uh, playing uh, in a few minutes. And uh, otherwise, they will never accept to be part of the stage uh, uh, serving us the drinks. And uh, thank you, Douglas. Thank you, yeah. Jonathan. And. Um, when, when we started this project was uh, 2006, and at that moment, Douglas was presenting in um, uh, Basel a project about Zidane that you may remember. And he was much more nervous than now, as uh, uh, he was another mondiale, and uh, obviously the uh, project was fantastic and at that time I was uh, preparing an exhibition with him in Italy uh, at the Mart, the Museum Mart, that uh, should be open in uh, September. So we knew each other since the early 90s and uh, when uh, uh, Douglas uh, left Basel we keep in touch obviously by SMS and uh, when uh, there was the uh, famous match, I sent him an SMS saying uh, with a text uh, from uh, 1982, I remember, to 2006. And he sent me immediately another text saying, I cancel your show. Uh, so since then, we, keep, we managed to be still very close. The show was a fantastic success. And uh, after, the, after the Mart, it was 2006, uh, Maurizio Moragreco, which is uh, here representing the Fondazione Moragreco, uh, asked me to uh, participate, uh, to curate a show in Naples. And, uh, as you know, Naples is a city where everything happens, so we are prepared for every kind of uh, improvisation. And we always keep very open about that. So when Maurizio invited me to do this exhibition, he said, would you like to do something with Douglas and Jonathan Monk? And I said, yeah, why not? I really admire Jonathan Monk. It could be a possibility. And uh, we started with an idea that was uh, a collaboration of sublimation of desire. And this sublimation of desire was uh, uh, a collaboration between Douglas and Jonathan uh, on uh, four different movies about the sublimation of desire. And I said, uh, well, it's fantastic, but maybe we can do something more than that for Naples. <laughs> and uh, I have to say that <laughs> Douglas and Jonathan, they responded immediately to my invitation and to my provocation. And uh, with the extreme generosity, started to think about something else for Naples. And believe me or not, this is not what they did, but uh, 
the idea started of unexpected, started to to be an exchange of uh, SMS. So we will present today with this book the very long uh, exchange of uh, email correspondence. Uh, that was the idea of the first uh, uh, conceptual and um, the first pieces that Douglas did in Rome in the early 90s when I met him. There was instruction number one, and he did it in Cafe Picasso. So I uh, had the idea to uh, invite Douglas and Jonathan to do something about our passion, which is football, which is uh, drinks. Um, I didn't suggest sex, though. Did I? And uh, no, I didn't suggest sex, because uh, at that time, there was uh, there was a very interesting article coming up on uh, Freeze magazine by your guys uh, about Naples. Uh, and this book, is, uh, this book is dedicated to Naples. And the reason why Maurizio is here with me is that he has been very seriously involved in the last uh, 10 years. More also. More in, in uh, building by himself being uh, a dentist, uh, quite a good dentist, uh, and uh, a uh, passionate collector, uh, an incredible collection. And recently, he started to do also some kind of uh, quite, uh, quite adventurous exhibition in Naples into the Fondazione which is in a very lively part of the city. And uh, we had a lot of public during the opening. And um, the two artists uh, started with the idea of uh, burning a piano in the foundation. And obviously, uh, we suggested the idea to Alessia that was very much involved in the part of this exhibition and she said maybe it's not a very good idea to, to burn a piano. So maybe we can do something easier, much easier. So we say why, why don't we do a performance with the two artists uh, uh, during the opening and uh, that's exactly what happened. And they started to serve uh, drinks to the public in Naples, uh, which was uh, extremely lively, maybe more lively than uh, even in uh, Basel, I have to say. And uh, we documented the old performance uh, with the photographs <coughs> and uh, also with, uh, with a movie. And uh, in Naples, the um, artist uh, underwear was different, and, uh, but was very successful. And uh, they serve 400 people because we had an enormous success. And one of the reasons we really were extremely happy about all this project was uh, that we did uh, a, a project for the city, obviously not for a an audience of uh, collectors, like uh, in Basel. And the people arrive and uh, participate to this, um, this may ruin performance. You this. <laughs> One of the few um, I don't think. person that was here was Mr. Lambert. And he participated to this, uh, to this project. We didn't have so many galleries uh, in uh, Naples, unfortunately. We need? Okay. We said, okay. So the public can come and serve themselves because now what we did is that we uh, decided that the Leon d'Oro, a Leon d'Oro, as you know, is the Golden Lion, uh, which was uh, a famous restaurant in Naples. Uh. 
came also <laughs> from uh, the idea of uh, Golden Lion in Venice. Uh, and uh, as uh, you will have your drink, uh, you can also take one copy of uh, the book. Uh, and the book uh, will uh, document, uh, obviously, not this part of the performance, but uh, all the performance that was organized in, uh, in Naples. Uh, and actually, Friends Selective Bar, which is a part of this uh, idea that was played in, uh, that was played in Naples, came from, uh, also from the idea of the, of the food performance called Leon d'Oro. We have all the photographs in the book. Um, so we, you will see in, uh, in, uh, in the book we did, we wanted to document this uh, part of conceptual work uh, that Douglas and Jonathan did as, a, as, a, um, as an instruction piece. And uh, we did this uh, instruction piece in uh, three different cities. So starting from Rome, where I live, to Berlin, where Douglas and Jonathan are based, we send and Naples. And I send at the beginning a suggestion after we had the idea of the food and drink and before the performance, uh, we uh, arrange uh, a kind of uh, idea of doing a, a special performance in a restaurant. And this restaurant is Leon Doro. And you will find in the book, you will find all the performance that was done during one dinner, recorded by the artist, and then realized with a, with a special neon that we had in the foundation. And uh, with, this, um, with this performance that we had in, uh, in the Leon d'Oro, we wanted to uh, stress the cliché of the food in Italian, because all the menu we will find in the book is in Italian. And we wanted to have it in, uh, in Neapolitan. And that's, you will see that the first part of the work they did in collaboration that is documented in the book is all the menu that was uh, consumed during a night in Leon d'Oro. And the reason why uh, also Leon d'Oro was chosen is that uh, Leon d'Oro is a very special restaurant in the center of Naples, uh, where a lot of other artists uh, had uh, many dinners and uh, lunch and performance, especially uh, in the last uh, five years when we were working with the city of Naples, especially with the Museum of Madre and with the Fondazione Morra Greco, participating in a lot of uh, uh, quite uh, challenging kind of uh, public project with artists. We did the uh, Damian Hurst exhibition at the Archaeological. And one of the reasons I suggested to Douglas to do the exhibition at Leon Doro is that uh, we always used to hang around at the Leon d'Oro with Damien. And uh, actually, as uh, neither Douglas or Damien Hurst have never been invited to uh, represent England at the Biennale, and Golden Lion is the Leon d'Oro of Na Napoli, is given to them as a honorary citizen. Another part of the performance uh, during Leon d'Oro was a tattoo piece that the two artists improvised after the electric bar performance. And it was done totally improvised inside the foundation. And Alessia, who is receiving now the bag, she was tattooed a sentence and was persuaded by the two artists uh, to do this tattoo that she's uh, now not showing, but is documented in the book. And that was very part of that week that we spent together in Naples. Uh, and I tried to persuade Alessia not to have the tattoo done, but it was a total waste of time. 
actually. And I have to say that Jonathan was the more, even more able to persuade her in a, a very <laughs> subtle way to have this permanent sign of uh, their art on her arm. And the uh, statement was, uh, life is a state of mind. So we had a long discussion about the statement because uh, Mr. Monk was not agreeing on the, on the sentence. He was suggesting to Alessia to do a different one, while Douglas was suggesting to have a permanent vampire tattoo on her arm. So in the end, we are extremely happy that we have the privilege to present to your audience tonight, which is a totally different audience, obviously, from the normal public in Naples, uh, this performance. But I wanted to tell, and uh, this is coming back to the reality of this project, that everyone who has been working on a book like that, which is kind of two years of uh, hard work, a lot of energy, the collaboration uh, long uh, distance by email, a lot of money that has been put in the project uh, by uh, the generosity of a private collector and the generosity of the artist, uh, because uh, uh, I have to uh, thank the artist again for the extreme generosity in every sense, especially tonight, but in, uh, in Naples, uh, when we opened the exhibition, there was an exhibition of uh, uh, Boetti at Madre, and I was with the two of uh, them, with Jonathan and Douglas, uh, and as you all know, especially Jonathan has been collaborating with Boetti a lot, and I had a personal experience with uh, Boetti and Schifano, and we were having a conversation about how different uh, the uh, experience in the early 90s was with the artist and uh, how generous Boetti was and how, how less lucky than themselves has been because uh, Boetti didn't enjoy this great fortune that today has but was always very generous and then we had endless conversation about this subject. And the two artists, they um, very, very supportively for the foundation, they decided to give this first piece that was done for the foundation after the performance called Leon Doro at the Fondazione Mora Greco. So I'm extremely proud to be part of this uh, long collaborative uh, uh, collaboration with uh, <laughs> with uh, Will Hand, as you know, the improvised part of that working with Douglas uh, has been always uh, a pleasure. And even tonight, I think uh, that uh, finally we have more public than at the beginning because we were really worried about having just four seats with four people. And uh, I wanted to thank uh, Mark Spiegler for ha having given the possibility of uh, uh, presenting uh, this book. I, I would like to thank all the people involved, like uh, Tobias Kasper, that designed the beautiful uh, layout of the catalog. I don't see Tobias here, but Tobias is, uh, is an artist that participates uh, with me on the idea of the book. Uh, and uh, I would like to thank Jonathan for being always so quick and so nice in the answer. And Alessia, who follow every step of this project since 2008 until 2010. Because uh, you will have the possibility of writing exactly all the correspondence of this uh, every step of this and uh, obviously has not been always very easy and we had a lot of surprises even at the very last moment but we will do a special edition of the book that was designed like a menu and the idea was that we will present the whole performance and the whole show at the end 
based on the cliche of food uh, as in a menu and that's how the book was designed and we will do also a special edition with um, with an artist uh, cover because it uh, it will be like a leather cover that we will present soon and we wanted to collaborate with Moose magazine and uh, and today, when we opened this um, series of conversation, we had uh, a talk on, uh, as an homage to Giuseppe Panza di Biumo. And it was extremely interesting because uh, Maria Norman was on the stage and Joseph Kossuth was on the stage. And they were all remembering the old days of the 60s and the 70s and the, and the idea of the art as something that they they share as an experience in common. And obviously, for our generation, has been a totally different uh, experience. But uh, uh, I had the privilege to share with Douglas and Jonathan, even uh, in the last 20 minutes, uh, uh, and in the last uh, 15 years, uh, a, a very similar way of rethinking the conceptual uh, uh, idea of art. Thank you, Douglas. Uh, thank you, Jonathan. Uh, and thank you for being here. Perfect. Hmm? If if the, that's a, a very good. Uh, can we have the? If there is any question, we will be really delighted to an, to answer you. And uh, even about the possibility of uh, bringing this. Uh, Electric, electric Friends performance on tour. Tomorrow I will, uh, uh, for those who don't know, Douglas and uh, Jonathan will have uh, uh, at least in London uh, a second uh, performance. And the idea of the Naples was so successful that at a certain point we uh, think about uh, having a, a copyright of the Leon d'Oro tour in different restaurants uh, all over the world. So we are almost ready for that, but... Uh, I, I have a question for Douglas. I don't know if he was going to speak, but can you tell us what is the best art school to go to to become an artist? Uh -oh. What is the best art school to go to to become an artist? We should talk about this privately later. <laughs> but you were well. at the School of Environmental Arts in Glasgow. That was pretty important for you. I, you know, I, I suppose I, uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe so. <clears throat> That's good. That's my mic for my art cast. <laughs> so why did you get David Moore uh, drunk that night? <laughs> uh, what was it like for you to go back? to be shown, have your first uh, retrospective in Edinburgh. What was it like to go back to, to Scotland? So many questions. Uh, in terms of the art school thing. This is my mic. Yeah, but it doesn't work. It's, this is for my radio. <laughs> OK, OK. Uh, in terms of the art school thing, one of my, uh, one of my kind of uh, mentors, I suppose, uh, is this uh, young guy called uh, Lawrence Wiener. And I remember when Lawrence came to Glasgow, he said, uh, fuck art schools. And I said, no, don't fuck art schools. That's where young artists come from. 
So we had a debate about it, and now I'm getting older and trying to grow the same uh, thing as Lawrence. I maybe feel you don't need to go to art school. You don't need to go to art school. That's a fact. Uh, you just have to be surrounded by uh, an aggressive and loving peer group. And that can happen, you know, at home or in a school, in a university, in a factory, etc. You know, the, the funny thing about when Jonathan and I met, I had left Glasgow. I was, down, I was in uh, London studying at the Slade School because everyone said to me, don't go to London, don't go to London. So that made me think, I'm going to go to London, that's for sure. And when I came back from London, uh, my girlfriend at the time said, oh, there's these really two cute boys from England who are studying in Glasgow, David Shrigley and Jonathan Monk. And Jonathan Monk is really sexy. And I was like, OK, I'm going to move home, find out who he is. That was, that was Christine. So, uh, you know, I suppose the, the idea of this was spread out, spread out. I mean, when I was at art school in Glasgow, it was mostly Scottish people. And then some English people came. And then, you know, you have to remember, I'm from a very small country in a very small city. What was next? Well, you're the generation that actually uh, was making contemporary art in Scotland. Scotland didn't have a tradition of any contemporary art up until your generation, I would say. And uh, then recently objection, you shown... objection. <laughs> How was it at your retrospective then in Edinburgh? You had a retrospective, and I heard from a few people <laughs> that you had a, <laughs> quite the choice of whiskies, and some people had some bad accidents afterwards. <laughs> I have no idea about that. I mean, it, it, you know, if you're a, you know, the, one of the pitfalls of being a British artist or a Scottish artist or whatever is that you fall into this trap of being an alcoholic fool which is absolutely not the case, but that is a, you know, that's a, some kind of a stereotype. And I think that what Jonathan and I always joked about was that we love the, we love the comedy, we love the alcohol, we love the fact that people can be uh, working individually and give up their individuality to do things which aren't taken seriously because that gives us the energy to move on. And I think that, I don't know, for me, for me, I'm going to give the microphone to Jonathan. For my uh, retrospective in Edinburgh, um, I plan to, no, that, what was the question? Oh, okay. No? Okay. <laughs> well, I can, but, but not really. Okay, what's it like to be in exhibition in Edinburgh after... Um... <laughs> Go ahead. The what, sorry? In Edinburgh. I've not actually ever... I have been in a show in Edinburgh, but I, I'm not. <laughs> Sorry, you don't know who I am, do you? Really? From no. the <laughs> Another question from the man with the camera, with the red. Another question. I can see people. How old are you? Um, I'm 41. I know I look a lot younger, but it's true. Any more good questions, easy questions like that? 
Well, that is easy right now, but it might be. I have a question for the audience. How old are you? Fifty-three this year. Thank you. Congratulations, Mazal Tov. That's good. And that's it, isn't it? Yeah. When does when's the or oh, the Italian game started? Yeah. Does anyone know the score from the Italy game or something? That'd be nice to know. No, it was earlier. No. Who played earlier? Paraguay against someone else. I, I would like to ask a question to Maurizio because he hasn't said anything. Yeah, come, come. Sorry. You should choose your question. No, no, no. Please, give me. One, one of the funny things when, when Jonathan and I went to uh, Napoli, you know, we flew in from uh, Berlin, we got there in the morning and we went into a certain neighborhood and uh, you know as you know Jonathan's 25 years old or something and mm -hmm. I'm a bit older and <laughs> this is supposed to be a collaboration <laughs> Yeah, New Zealand are winning. It's 1-1. One, one. But I think for a New Zealand, that is like a victory. One of the kind of nice, it wasn't actually so nice, but we have to tell this story, which was when we got to Napoli, um, we got to the hotel, and uh, Mirta said to us, OK, this is the route to go between the hotel and the Fondazione. So we went along a certain road, and I had really nice shoes, but they weren't good for walking. And so after three days, I said to Jonathan, oh, fuck, it's really difficult to walk in my shoes along this road. I'm sure we can take a shorter uh, route. And when we got to the Fondazione, Again, I said to Jonathan, I, maybe I'm just an old man, but this place seems a little bit uh, dodgy or rough to me. There must be like drug dealers and stuff here. So we started to take different routes to and fro, and we started to notice that we were being followed by guys in, uh, you know, Adidas. And, uh -uh. And uh, it was true, we, the Fondazione is in a very rough area. And this was confirmed the, day, the morning after the opening, when Jonathan and I woke up and we're going to see the um, Caravaggio uh, Seven Acts of Mercy. <coughs> and uh, we were informed that the local gangsters had stolen the whole show with everything in it. And I'd like to ask you, Maurizio, did they ever give the work back? No, absolutely not. But uh, as you remember, in a couple of hours, we replaced everything in the same shape of before. And I have to say, the, the, the point is this. The, we stay in an, an area of Napoli that is a very, very complicated area, as you know. Uh, very, very complicated because it's uh, socially difficult. Uh, but one of the purpose of the foundation is to starting in that area. We, we, we don't care to, to, to go in the very you know, bourgeoisie place. And all the, also the, 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 quality, the quality of the, the state of the foundation that is a bit, uh, more than a bit rough, you know, as you know. Uh, it's uh, it's the symbol of our our idea to 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 do to have a direct contact with the with with the, with the artists try to to invite the the, the best artists we we, we we can invite and, and naturally give um, uh, to the artists the freedom to do what they want 
at the, at the end, I think that, that this is uh, very important because uh, for sure, and you are absolutely the demonstration of this, uh, the, the thing that I'm saying, uh, the, the show that, uh, that we host are not, are never, has never been normal show or a usual show. Uh, because I think, and I, I, I'm sure that, that you agree with me, uh, the, 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 the freedom that, that uh, you, you, you breath in, in our space, I think it's, it's very huge. And, and so, and so, and so we, 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 we know that, that there are also some collateral, you know, problems, but we are ready to solve that. You know. I don't know if this is working. It's still working. Yeah. It's still working. Uh, I wanted to I wanted to close on this note because uh, obviously today, uh, when we were celebrating Panza and uh, uh, obviously as a as a, an Italian collector from a place called Varese that uh, I'm sure like uh, maybe uh, one percent of the audience uh, will know. He was buying in the early 50s, uh, like uh, eight uh, Rauschenberg early combines, just looking at a photograph. So uh, being an Italian, we have to be ashamed of many things. But uh, given the fact that the Panzer collection uh, made maybe seven of the major museum uh, all over the world core of collection, uh, a very interesting topic uh, is uh, still the fact that the collaboration that Panza had with artists, there was a very close collaboration in a moment where he used to give, because uh, I used to be kind of close to Ileana and Sonab, and, and the relationship with art was different from today, I mean, in terms of money also. And he was able to do an amazing thing. And we are very extremely happy that uh, we were able in Naples uh, to, de to do an, an, an something which was very ambitious for our uh, possibilities, uh, thanks to the artist, uh, because uh, we uh, did with this project, which has been going on for two years, uh, something that uh, anyway has, uh, for the moment, uh, not uh, a place in a museum, but like, uh, like many uh, interesting collections should be. And so today there was a, a discussion uh, about the role of architecture and museum. And, uh, but actually they, there is a lot which is still going on with this uh, possibility of collaboration. And I'm proud that uh, thanks to our friendship with Jonathan and Maurizio. And Maurizio was mentioning that the, the foundation is in a very, very, let's say, uh, lively, but also poor, but the real place of Naples. And Naples was the favorite city of voice for that reason. And uh, we also work close to the Museo Madre, which is not a, an, an, an archistar architecture, but is a very normal building restored by Caesar. And uh, when we did this exhibition with Jonathan and Douglas, there was the the retrospective of Boetti in Naples. And actually, it was a, a, fantastic, uh, a fantastic moment, of, uh, especially for us. So in uh, uh, being in our base, where all those collectors uh, spent all their uh, fortune compared to the 60s, uh, we think that uh, that has been a, an opportunity. And I want to thank Maurizio, because uh, after uh, he has a studio in Naples when he does uh, his, uh, his main uh, profession, which is a dentist. And is, is, is really not a passion. It's beyond a passion, because between uh, one x-ray and another, he goes and he check out. Uh, and he's really uh, an example of a collector that like Panza, when he focuses on something, goes deeply. And he's, he's, he, he's, uh, he's, a, good, uh, uh, he's a good reference. Uh, and uh, I also uh, hope that it will be possible to continue what, what we did uh, with thanks to Douglas and Jonathan in the future in a city like Naples, which is obviously not New York, but we are very proud about it 
all this uh, project. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, thank you to Max Spiegler, which I don't see here, but uh, and thank you for you all for being here.